Hi everyone, welcome back to another edition of my videos. Today I've got another really nice puzzle to show you. Uh, the stipulation is this, it is white to move and checkmate in only two moves. So you can solve it, white to move and checkmate in two moves. And as always, if you wish to skip straight to the solution, you're more than welcome to. Right, well, what I'll quickly say about this puzzle is there's lots of different ways to checkmate black. However, there is only one way to checkmate in two. So I'm only interested in looking at the checkmates in two. So um, a little bit about this puzzle. Well, this one comes from a chess composer, a Ukrainian chess composer called uh, Vladimir Chernov. Uh, it was the first prize winner. He's a well-known uh, composer, published, I think, something around 300 different compo uh, compositions. So he's done quite a lot of stuff uh, for chess composing. Uh, this is a really nice one, and it's very difficult to, to solve this one, as you kind of have to come up with the, the right plan here. And, well, essentially, we have these two pawns that we need to work with here. Well, firstly, let me just discuss a little bit about what's happening in this puzzle. So we do have a queen, we do have a king. Uh, they are doing a very nice job in controlling the uh, the black king. Uh, they control all the squares around it. This pawn, okay, it's uh, it's been protected by the queen at the minute, um, but the king can't go anywhere here. And the queen here, again, acting like a little bit of like a, um, a traitor uh, to the black king by blocking the king from being able to escape this way. So um, really, the puzzle kind of revolves around these pawns and finding the right promotion. And it's easier said than done. Now, I will just quickly mention, what about some of the other checks that you could do in this position? Well, none of them seem to work in this position. As soon as you move this queen away from this square, this relinquishes the defense from this white pawn. So if you try and move like, I don't know, queen to h5, well, the king takes here, it's probably still a win, but uh, in fact, it's a quite an easy win actually. Uh, although interestingly enough, you've got to be really careful here because if you go to a queen, that's a, is that a draw? Oh no, king there. Okay, maybe not then. <laughs> it was almost a stalemate. But uh, in any case, the king just runs away and we can't really do, do any sort of quiet moves like, I don't know, queen here, for example, as well the ki king captures and even stuff like, you know, let's say we move the queen away. Uh, this doesn't work at all. In fact, this leads to a theoretical draw after a couple of exchanges. The king is going to pick up this pawn and, OK, white will pick up this pawn or just get in front of the black pawn to stalemate himself. So um, these sort of things, they don't work in this position. So uh, our, our solution is really going to be based around what we where we move these pawns to and what we promote them to and we've got to be very careful now we can quickly um rule out moving this pawn here uh, whatever we do with this pawn it's not going to lead to anything really significant here uh, so first example is if let's say we promote to a queen this looks pretty good uh, but there isn't really a good follow-up here black uh, controls all of the potential squares around the king. Okay, there is this square on h5, which could be deadly. Uh, but the problem is, uh, black can just simply capture this queen here. And okay, the queen can come here. But again, as soon as we move this queen away, it gives us this axis square for our king to run to. So this doesn't quite work. And uh, well, there's not really much more to say about this solution. What about if you promote it to a knight though? This looks interesting. It comes with a check. The king has got no legal squares it can go to, so the black king does have to sacrifice himself here. The problem with this is after we capture back with the pawn, which is pretty much the only useful check in this position, and promote it to a knight, uh, this isn't checkmate as well. The king has got one legal square it can go to. It can still go to h7. Again, with that queen moving, it gives us that little escape square to get out in this position. So this pawn, we can't really do anything with it. That doesn't work whatever we move to. But what about moving this pawn? What do we promote this pawn to? Well, I think really the only two moves that are going to make much sense are either going to be the queen or the knight. If we promote to the queen, this looks really good but it fails to the following solution uh, it fails to just quite simply queen to um to g g6 and this looks really really bad for black it looks like white is going to be mating him in many different directions uh, after a move such as promotion 
and then promoting, let's say, to a cool, uh, knight, for example, hitting it with the check. This looks like a really deadly double attack. Again, with this queen moving to g6, though, it just gives it just a little amount of time for the king to get out of the way. So this doesn't work. And if you promote to a queen, although this looks pretty nice, we've got this discovered attack, the queen jumps in the way, and just for a minute, it is not going to be checkmate in two. This is going to be checkmate in three, though. So uh, almost works, but doesn't quite work. So the queen move doesn't work, but the final move, which is the solution, does work, and that is the move knight promotion here, which is quite surprising when you think about it. So let's have a look at the different ways that black could play in this position. Firstly, if he takes this pawn, which looks very tempting, here we can win quite simply with the move queen to h5, checkmate. Notice with the queen coming to g7, is actually blocked that uh, escape square for the king to go to, so this doesn't work for black. Uh, other moves in this position, I don't know, let's say we just wait in this position, I don't know, we play a move like f5. Uh, well, against this, we can win with the move queen to g5. We've got a kiss of death checkmate, the king, uh, guarding the queen, and with that pawn moving forward, it no longer defends the g5 square. And there's just nothing else that for black to really do in this position. Um, any other moves are going to fail pretty quickly. I'm just trying to think of if there's any uh, potential waiting moves. Let's say, I don't know, let's say the, kick, uh, the queen comes to g8 as an example here. Well, this is where this is quite interesting with this queen moving away from the square we can actually checkmate on g6 and i think a final solution i do want to have a look at let's say the queen runs all the way along here let's say uh well this fails to either two ways actually um uh, i think it fails just simply to the oh no it doesn't oh no this is the interesting one we can actually promote here to the knights so two knight promotions checkmating the black king very very nice solution that one so i hope you enjoyed it um yeah this is a really cute one if you like what you see make sure you leave a like at the end of this video share this with a friend and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to the channel to see more puzzling content like this anyway i hope you enjoyed this take care